if you like this video, please rate, comment, share and subscribe. And if you dislike it, please tell me why so I can improve. This has now been going on for a year. I've been doing a video a day for a year. And I've done a few skips, but also I've sometimes done more than one video a day. So that's how it works out. I just want to talk about briefly about the history of this channel. This channel is actually about six years old, but it only has mainly videos from the last year. Now the reason that happened was, I used to have a policy of deleting any video that got fewer than 144 views in the first week. Because basically none of them got 144 views in the first week, apart from that one about urine drinking. Almost all of them are gone. <clears throat> so, when I started doing that, I suppose what I was originally trying to do in the last year, at the beginning, was to promote my books You Could Have Thought That and Here Be Dragons. And so I stuck in a few bits from You Could Have Thought That and a few bits from Here Be Dragons. And then my son went to college. And because he went to college, the homemade activity that we have been engaging in ever since my first child was born in 1994 came to an end. And I was left with an empty gap. An empty gap. What the kind of gap is there? I don't know. Um, so I was left with an over the gap and I decided to plug it because it's emptiness combined with the midlife crisis because of the way my life has gone. Not having a career, but having a lot of involvement in childcare and so forth. And so that turned it then into a sort of educational channel with daily educational stuff. Oh well, some of it, not all of it. And also the occasional bit on, for example, cross-dressing, of course there is no cross-dressing because if a man goes out and buys women's clothes, they're not women's clothes, they belong to him. So that's a bit weird. And um, yeah, so that's a bit of a myth really, isn't it? It's just what strange people who shout and swear at you in the street decide don't belong to your gender. Anyway, um, also some stuff on herbalism because I'm of course a herbalist. Um, and in fact this channel originally started because I wanted to stick a reply to a skeptic about herbalism on YouTube. Um, and so you see a sort of transition. You also see occasional references to the other channel, uh, which has now ground to a halt, of course, because I think it's served its purpose for me, although I probably will add something to it in the near future. For example, there's an animation I want to put on there. So it's sitting there with like a million views or whatever, literally, which is really annoying because I put no effort into it, but there you go. Um, whereas this one sits here with hardly anything because I put lots of effort in it. Perhaps I care too much, I don't know. That doesn't really bother me anymore because I think I've been on a journey. So, at the beginning of April I decided to do a hoax video about pregnancy. Um, that was so popular that I then decided to start another channel which was about male pregnancy. And obviously that is a wish fulfillment thing for me because obviously I can't get pregnant and I want to get pregnant but it's never going to happen. And so after a while I found that the herbs I was taking to mimic the sensations of pregnancy were making me throw up rather a lot and I swapped them which is a bit wimpy of me because women get a choice to opt out of throwing up rather a lot, not all of them, and <clears throat> replaced it with a phytoestrogen uh, of a different kind and I now think that first herb, set of herbs was not phytoestrogenic and the one I started to use was because the depression came to an end, all the other stuff was over and of course with the steady decline in testosterone something has happened and so that's where I'm going now but I'm also rather curious about the idea of narratives because this is my current narrative and I can certainly look back on my life and not more importantly on my diaries and say the gender dysphoria has always been there but there are other narratives and if you make a decision which is irreversible then you well, you could be in the shtuk because, for example, if somebody decided that some crush they had on a woman 20 years ago was more important than their current marriage and it was completely empty and meaningless, they might then get divorced and they're not going to be able to undo that, the chances are. So that's a bit sort of, there's no way going back from that. And the same applies really to gender, to gender reassignment. So really, you know, I've got to make sure that this is the narrative that I really do want to accept and fix in my life in that way. Now there are, there is another channel, I did say I was going to do shout outs on a regular basis to people and I know I haven't done that recently but there is another channel which I think is done by an absolutely fantastic YouTuber mainly because the way she's doing it is very much in accordance with the things that I'm going through right now and she was 
um, honourable enough to actually do, you know, thank me for my contribution, which is good, because up until that point, I really felt that uh, I was being a bit sort of stalkerish and intrusive, partly because I didn't get responses, which is because she was very busy. And uh, so I am going to do a call out now to Matty Carter, who is doing it properly, as opposed to what I'm doing, which is really dodgy, <laughs> but really impressed by what you're doing. I'm really glad you're doing it so early, uh, transitioning male to female, basically. And um, congratulations, I really made up for you. And uh, maybe one day <laughs> I will join you, but I don't know. Um, because I really, really want to do it, but I've got a whole life around me here and it's really hard for me to leave that behind. Um, so there you go. That's a year of videos. Oh, I wanted to ask everybody a question, which is this. Obviously, I've got a very diverse channel here and it's got loads of different things on it. And I don't know, uh, really, I, I can't necessarily say somebody who's say what's a requesting for a video here on this video down in the comments is going to get that because I may do it, but I don't know how many people or how representative you are. So I suppose what I want to know is, do you want me to carry on doing daily videos or do you want me to concentrate on improving the quality of the videos? Because I am aware that because I've committed myself to this rather heavy schedule, the quality of the videos is not as good as it might otherwise be. So that's a question I want to leave you with. Thanks for all your support. Uh, thanks for watching me. Really appreciate it. It's going in a strange direction now that I wasn't really expecting because I was hoping to repress the gender dysphoria as I have done for a long time. But that's not happening anymore. So it could concentrate on that or it could concentrate on something else because I am obviously a human being as well as somebody who is uncomfortable with their ascribed gender. Uh, that is where I am at the moment, but I may, obviously, I'm open to the idea that I'm going to adopt a different narrative later, uh, although I do know that I'm never going to be happy with being male and any more than a uh, homosexual is just, more man is just waiting for the right girl. So that's going to be with me for life unless I do something about it. But that doesn't mean that I won't try to distract myself by doing something else, which is what I've generally done in the past. So that's where I am. So yeah, plenty more educational stuff, herbal stuff, whatever. Um, book reviews or film reviews, you know, whatever you like, really. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. And I'll see you tomorrow. Smoothie turns camera off.